Hey everyone, my name is Simon and you're watching Simon with Tarot. Today is Sunday, so I will be doing what makes you lit. So basically, okay. So basically, I'm gonna um, we talk about like what are your great after attributes about yourself, like what the people like about you, what does God like about you, you know, what makes um what makes you lit, you know. If you do not know what lit means, lit is basically another word for popping. So what makes my power ones lit? options here. I'll put them here for you guys to choose. Okay, so Power Ball, this will be too lit. So I'm seeing here what makes you lit is your ability to turn nothing into something. So you guys are always watering your garden, which I, which means you're always watering your mom. You're always looking for new ways to grow, and you're always um. looking to be the best you can be you're also with this being a sheer dress you're also really really transparent so like you're the type of person like even if you've been through a lot of life and maybe you have a lot now or you you just a uh, a lot well a lot more well off than you um were before like you uh had a oh what's the word for it like a glow up so maybe you had a glow up and stuff like that you not you don't try to act like oh i always been it i always been that bitch i always been you know that boo you guys have always been a man like i always had this i always had that like you'll tell your story like if you guys were addicted to drugs you'll be like yeah i used to be a crack addict like i used to be a crackhead i was in the crack house you know sleeping on mattresses you get what i'm saying like you tell the truth right? you know what i'm saying you're not one to like cap and glamorize everything you're like listen i was a hoe i was a prostitute i had to do what i had to do I had sugar daddies. I had I had all of the above because I had to get this money and I didn't know how I was going to get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're very transparent about your shit. You're very real about your shit. You're not one to sit here and try to sugarcoat nothing, right? Because you understand that girl, this is all a part of your journey. This is all a part of your journey. This is all a part of you growing and learning. You know what I'm saying? And and you, I think that you also are just transfer, um, transparent with people because you you want others to know, like, yeah, if I can come out of my situation the way I did, you could definitely come out your situation as well. You get what I'm saying? It just, you know, takes time and patience like it did for me. Let's pick two more. 
guys may be in the process of creating something for your life, like maybe some type of abundance. You guys could be in school. You guys could have a business. You guys could be um, doing some side hustles, but you're definitely working on something that's going to build you some financial success and financial wealth. And people can see that working out. They see that you've been working hard on it for a number of years or at least amount of time. Like you're not afraid to roll your sleeves up and get uh, and get uh, get dirty. Like you know that you have to put the work in. Right, what makes you lit is that you don't put your, you don't um, leave your life to chance. You know what I'm saying? And again, I tell you about my life to help you with yours. I had a conversation with a guy one time, and I was asking him like what he wanted to be in life or where he wanted to go in life, and he really didn't have an answer for me. He was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna just you know work at you know the uh, call center, you know, and I'm gonna retire from there, and it is what it is, right?" And I'm like, "Okay, cool." So I mean, you don't. What, what if that doesn't work out? And it's like. I, he didn't really have an issue. He he didn't really have a plan. He said what he said was I never forget. He said I just deal with I just uh deal with the cards I was dealt. That's what he said. He did. He said he deals with the cards that he were dealt, right? And when he said that, I looked at him. I was like, who dealt the cards? You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just let life put you somewhere because of course God is always going to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? He's always going to take care of you if you're praying, you live, in, you live right, you're living in a good heart. You know what I'm saying? He's going to take care of you. You know, If you ask, you shall receive. However, if you're not actively working towards the life you want, he might just give you a life where you can survive, where you can have a better life. Because at the end of the day, like we all have free will. You know what I'm saying? God's going to take care of his children as long as you take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? But if you want more, you have to work for more. So if you work, the way you get more, the way you get more blessings is working towards your blessings and praying at the same time. He's not going to just, he, you can't pray and be like, oh, can I be a millionaire and expect not to do no work? You get what I'm saying? It doesn't work like that. You got to put the work in, whether, you know, you marry someone that's a millionaire because of who you are working on yourself as a person or because like you build the wealth up yourself, you know, through businesses and or jobs or whatever you, you got going on. You get what I'm saying? You understand that nothing is really a chance that you create your own luck. You create your own chance. Like, you get what I'm saying? What also makes you lit power one is they're always on the go. Like, you don't stop for nothing. Like, some of you guys, this is good, but it's also can be detrimental to your health. So, I am hearing that sometimes it's okay to slow down. And I'm hearing that sometimes it's okay to not be doing something. Pile number one, I feel like this is the pile that kind of overworks themselves a bit. That's always, like, trying to do something, trying to be something. Got something to do or something going on because you feel like... um if you don't have nothing going on that you're being lazy or you're not, uh, in, um, what's it called, excelling in life, when that's just not the case, like sometimes it's okay to sit down. But what makes you lit is that you, um, you at least try. You know what I'm saying? Like you at least, you at least um, try to work. Even like if your body's tired, you at least try. Of course, like some of you guys give yourself breaks, but some of you guys don't. And it sounds like it would be a bad attribute, but it's not because you don't um, allow yourself to sit in uh, laziness for too long. I'm trying to find the right words. It's like you don't allow yourself because I've seen someone sit on the couch, right? But it's not. But you. But it's. It's trying to tell me that's the exact opposite of what you be doing. Like you. You the type of person I probably feel bad because you sat down and watched a movie when it was work that or homework you could have did or work you could have did or you could have been working on your business or you could have been you know stayed an extra hour at work to you know try to get that race or whatever it is. It's like you're always on the go, always doing something. You don't believe in having a stagnant life, and I think this is a part of you understanding that you have to create your own luck. Let me mix pot on the lid. What, pick, what makes you lit pot one is that you do everything in private. It's like... A lot of times your haters or people who don't believe in you feel like they don't really know how to keep up with you because you do everything in private. Like, you are very transparent, but, like, when you're working on something, like, again, like how you're working on your garden and growing your pinnacles, when you're working on something, you're not um, broadcasting it. You know how those people always, like, uh, like to post uh, moving in silence and shit, and then, like, they'll post their plan? Like, it's like, how are you moving in silence if you're telling us you're moving in silence? Like, stop telling us you're moving in silence and just do it. Like, you're the type of person that, that just pops out with shit. Like, you get what I'm saying?
And that's what makes you lit. You don't feel the need to be, to seek validation every step of the way of you doing something. Like, you don't need uh, people to be cheering you on and clapping for you. Like, oh, yay, good job. Like, you don't, really, you don't need that at all. Like, you're just like, all right, this is what I'm doing. Like, and you kind of just keep that to yourself. If that makes sense. Let's see. Can I get two more cards for power number? Well, what we'll makes power one? I don't know that. You definitely trust the process. So what makes you lit is the fact that you trust the process and you keep going even when times get hard. Like you're not the you're not somebody who um who lays down and just takes it. You get what I'm saying? Like you're not somebody who gets sees an obstacle, like, okay, I can't really do this because now like if I like if I do this, like I'm probably gonna fail. You're not like that. Like you're gonna go ahead and try to do it even if you feel like you can't do it, or even if you feel like something's stopping you, you're gonna go ahead and do it anyway and you're gonna trust the process and you you know you're usually with this car, you usually just get your way out of it. Like you think your way out of it you physically fight your way out of it mentally fight your way out of it but you get out of dark times and you move out of dark times really quickly and a lot of this has to do with you knowing that it is brighter days ahead like you're not someone that's like oh my life is ruined so i guess it's just gonna have to stay when you're like okay my life is ruined how can i fix it kind of like um uh, you know how um the kardashians her, their mom what is their mom kendall jenner every time those girls have like some type of scandal like she turns it into money like it's ridiculous like with kim she literally made kim a cash cow off of her getting exposed from a sex tape not to say that's a good thing but i'm saying like that's her that's the energy you pursue like you're like okay this is a bad thing this is something that's supposed to be negative how can i turn it into a positive so it can benefit me right That's what you get when you marry to a, when she married a lawyer. You know what the fuck she was doing. Creative writing, teaching, and learning. Some of you guys, okay, so your advice, your bit, you might benefit from writing a book, an ebook, or something like that, and people actually read it about your trials and tribulations or whatever you're going. Some of you guys are working on credit, and you might be building your credit up. Maybe we should write a book or, or, or um, document how you got your credit up. Some of you guys, it's like about your life story. Some of you guys, it's about running your business or becoming a partner. I don't know, like a partner type of firm or something like that. But whatever you type, whatever you're doing, you should definitely write about it and teach it to others and monitor. It that will help bring in some extra pinnacles as well. But that is your reading pile number one. That's what makes you lit. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell. You can notify be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in entering my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a purple heart in the comment section below, and I'll be choosing the winner when we hit 2,800 subscribers. That being said, I'm moving on to pile number two. What makes you lit power number two? Oh, if you like a personal reading that script, that information is in the description box below underneath the timestamps. Um, but time this video up, I think my sale has ended, but I'll have another one like probably in a couple months or so, maybe. I don't know. Um, but moving on to power number two, what makes you lit is the fact that you're always three steps ahead of your enemies. This pile is probably really good at mental mind games. I, you're... Your energy, pile number two, pile number two, you're an energy that can't be fooled. Like, you get what I'm saying? You're, like, when people come around you, they know they have to be completely authentic and completely themselves around you because it's like you already know when people trying to like fuck you over or people trying to do something to you, you might one you might um wonder why people come. Like if you if your um friends and stuff get new lovers, they might always try to try to run the person that they're dating a, to, across to you. Like oh, this is the person I'm dating. What do you think? And you're like, but you're really private about yours, and you're like wondering why they always do it. They feel like you're a good judge of character, and that's what make you you're a good judge of character. So you force people to be themselves. They can't be nothing but themselves. Also, your lipsticks, if you wear makeup, your makeup is always popping. I'm saying your highlight and your lips, he perfectly lined and everything. Like, your hair, like, everything to the T. So, your personal experience, your, um, well, your personal experience, your personal, um, not experience, your personal style is what makes you lit. 
And I think as far as personal experience, I think you might use your experiences in life to give advice. And that's what makes you lit as well. It's kind of like opening up your mind to other people because you might discuss your trauma or discuss things that you've been through. Um, and that might help people. Like, for example, like somebody might come and they're like, oh, I think my boyfriend cheating on me, right? And you might have been cheating on him in the past. And you're like, well, is he doing this and this and that? And they'll be like, yeah, he is. And you're like, okay, so when my boyfriend cheated on me, he was also doing this and this and that. So if you look for this and this and that, that will let you know. You know what I'm saying? And you use your past experiences. They don't have to be like cheating. It could be anything. But it's like you use your past experiences to help others get to what, what they're going through currently, right? So, um yeah also what makes you lit it's like hard for people to to understand your mind but it's a good thing because you always bring a lot of new and creative ideas because your mind doesn't really work like others like most people think in a straight line you think like in kind of like a zigzag it's like everything for the shoe doesn't have to be black and white there's always a gray area and there's always more you know what i'm saying there's always more so for example like you might like let's say for instance like um gun laws or some shit like that like yes you understand that guns are you know cause harm and 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 you gotta do this and, and you know they shouldn't be in the um hands of others but instead of you just saying like okay gun laws guns are bad you know what I'm saying you'll be like okay guns are bad and bad with in the hands of bad people or in the hands of people who are have mental illness so maybe if we you know get treatment for that and make sure they if they have a harder time getting guns we'll be able to control our guns instead of just saying guns are bad like fuck guns yes like you think about stuff really different and really intricate and sometimes when you especially when you open your mouth when you want to share it because i feel like sometimes you don't share a power one because you might feel that your um ideas are a little bit too ambitious for some but that's not your fault because again everybody most people have a sheep mindset so you have to realize that especially if they don't you know not in a spiritual community most people have a sheep mindset so they believe everything they believe they believe everything they see on tv they believe anything you know um the tv tells them or their favorite celebrity tells them and shit like that like they think all this they think all this shit is real you get what i'm saying so you got you can't i'm hearing somebody wrote, i'm saying somebody roll their eyes and letting out a sigh because you know exactly what i'm talking about like i said most people are asleep most people are sheep they look for someone to follow right so what makes you lit is that you are hard to get close to you're hard to um not get along with so much but um connect with but that's purposely because your mind is different like you have a different type of mind you don't have the same type of um sheep mindset that most people have so it's kind of different different it's kind of difficult to to connect with you because you understand that it's like for example you know how everybody's like oh let's be toxic oh i love being toxic i want a girl who won't cut me up if i cheat on her like you're like why would i want that why can't we just be honest with each other why can't we have a healthy relationship and communicate effectively like be us being toxic doesn't mean we love each other it just means that we're insecure like you'll think about it like that and then you'll say that and then a the person will look at you like what and they'll be so confused you know what i'm saying but you have a different way of thinking like your way of thinking is different so it's like you either get along with people or you don't because it's like they don't know they don't really they can't really connect with you because your mind frame is different but then when you find someone who can connect with you or wants to connect with you on your mental level like you're um you're very loyal and you're very um and you probably if when you make a friend you probably have trouble making friends sometimes but when you do make a friend or um or get in a relationship it's very long term it's very loyal and that person um is very loyal to you and very tight to you as well um what makes you lit is the fact that you're a warrior what makes you lit is that you understand that you you win but you win your wars with peace you know what i'm saying like you know that you can shank niggas if you want you know you can cut heads off and, and this is this energy is for male and female is you know you can cut heads off you know you can um start wars and and finish wars you know what i'm saying but you don't you try to fight with peace so instead of like going straight at people next and be like oh i know this fact i know this i know that and this is why you're wrong instead you just figure out you know what let me try to you know find out what their point of view is and see if we can have a debate back in forth to see if you can come to a conclusion where both of us feel comfortable it's something like that it's like you know what power you have but you don't abuse your power so let's choose from the bottom and choose from the top okay so what makes you lit is you're not afraid to fight for others you're not afraid to help others like you might be the type of um, person that helps others and the need and sometimes people act like they in need just because they want you to come help you're probably very responsible with your money your time your resources your uh, mental health everything and maybe you're around people that's not so um 
mature and responsible so like they might go off and do some shit and get their heart broken and you'll be like i told you so you're like well it's time for us to heal now so come on let's do this this and that and you know you'll heal your heart this way but they knew damn well what they was doing but they knew after they was done like people know like whatever they done doing or doing some shit that's gonna hurt them like you're gonna be there to save them because you know you that's just how you are you're an angel like that like you know what i'm saying you like taking care of people and you like you're good at you know how to take care of people also, lastly, what makes you lit is the fact that you know when to speak up and you know when to be quiet. You understand that just because you're the loudest in the room doesn't mean that you're the smartest in the room. You understand that sometimes you learn more when you're more quiet. You get more when you're more quiet. You understand? Some people feel like you're a person, you have you have a lot to say. Let me say this. You have a lot to say, but you don't need to be heard. You get what I'm saying? Like, you have a lot to say, but you don't feel the need to be heard. And that is very beautiful power number two. Like, a lot of people feel like, always oh, like, oh, hear me, hear me, see me, see me. Like, you don't give a fuck. Like, you're like, this is what I know. This is how I feel. I don't care if people are good with me. I don't care if people um, know what my point of view is. Like, I know my point of view, and it is what it is. You get what I'm saying? You don't feel like you need to explain yourself, which is good. All right, let's get you some advice. You got teaching and learning as well. I feel like you guys already do that. So continue to do that. Continue to teach people. Because people do learn from you. Relationship me and beloved one. Oh, okay. So. Um, continue to teach people. And continue to learn. And grow your mind as you've been doing. You have relationship me here. Some of you guys have a hard time establishing relationships. Because you have a hard time trusting and connecting with people. Please understand your advice. This is because this is advice. Um, your advice for that um, is to let. I'm not saying like overly let people in, but understand that sometimes it takes people time to get to the level that you're at mentally, emotionally, and physically. So instead of just like writing people off, because I feel like power too, you have a habit of like writing people off. Like okay, you're not ready for it for this for this goddess energy, this king energy. So I'm gonna just write you off. So instead of doing that, why don't you um. Why don't you um, go ahead and uh, allow that person in and allow them to grow with you. Allow more people to grow with you. Like if they have a big heart, but they're not like all the way there yet as far as being woke and not being a sheep. Like allow that person to grow with you. You know what I'm saying? We can't let all the sheeps get eaten up. We got to help them. You know what I'm saying? Like we, not everyone goes through a spiritual way yet. I feel like you're given a choice. I feel like you're given a choice, but not everyone takes it and not everybody recognizes to take it. And the last card you got is I am helping is beloved is beloved one. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So you do have um a relationship coming in with beloved one. I think that you've been like trying to find your equal. I wonder if you're ever gonna run into your equal. Not to say like like, like somebody like because somebody was like oh like i felt i got like a, a flash or i'm hearing like little i'm seeing little clips of like you know how people fighting over 50 50 relationships and like paying half the, like not to, if that's what you want if you want high pergamy this is specific message if you want high pergamy you want somebody to take you know you know take care of you and you know provide like that's cool that's totally cool that is possible that doesn't mean they're not going to be your mental your um your equal mentally so what i mean by equal is not someone like that won't allow you to live in your feminine not someone that won't allow you to live in your masculine and take the leadership ship role if that's what you desire or team up if that's what you desire however but someone who is your mental um partner somebody who is your mentally equal like they can think on the same frequency that you can which ain't really easy you get what i'm saying especially for you pal too like especially for you because you not only are you conscious but you also like understand the world and take the time to understand the world you gotta say instead of like being too lazy and then choosing to understand un misunderstand it but that is your reading pile number two. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the full notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you are interested in getting a personal reading, that information is in the description box below and here's the timestamps. If you are interested in uh, entering my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a purple heart in the comment section below. With that being said, I'm going to move on to pile number three. Okay, pile number three, what makes you lit? What makes you lit is you have a lot of opportunities. And when you do have a lot of opportunities, 
and you or like you coming to some money or you coming to like something like that's going you know going to pop so it could be an opportunity it could be physical money or something like that or just you might learn something new like you share like you understand that you under you have a really abundant mindset so you understand like giving giving and helping people is only going to create more and more um abundance for yourself so you don't have no issue sharing it's like almost as if you make pinnacles which is money or, or monetary material whatever or learn you know um uh, mental mental wealth which is learning and working on yourself or whatever to give to others it's like you you it's like you understand that i i have more than enough to give to others and you always make sure you create abundance to give to others you know what i'm saying but you give to yourself but you don't like i need everything to myself i can't share like you still share at the same time um i am also seeing that you're very good at sharing money um um you're sharing money but very good at saving money very good at budgeting very good at um creating a stable environment for yourself you might be the, the friend that always got money like you the friend that people want to go on a trip with because they know that you're not going to run out of money in miami and be begging like you know what I'm saying? you might always have your bills paid on time pay stuff off you probably have a good credit score if you don't you you working on a good credit score it's like i can see that this proud husband have a good credit score though but you um you're very good at working, working, um, saving money. You're very good on creating some a stable foundation for yourself. So you probably are the type that has a saving account, uh, like multiple accounts, multiple investments. If you don't, you definitely should, cause you'll be great at it. So what makes you lit is you keep you live to fight another day. You don't back down easily. If you want something, you go and get it. You you tell yourself, okay, I want this car, I'm gonna go get it. I want to live here, I'm gonna go get this. I want love, I'm gonna go get it. Like the universe really be tired of you because it's like, listen, like you keep asking for shit and you be tired because we gotta give it to you because your energy, you on the same frequency, you always on the same frequency, so it comes to you like you deserve it, so we have to give it to you. Like it's like you, you're not, you don't take no for an answer, right? So whether it comes to you peacefully or whether you have to fight for it or however it comes to you, you're not taking no for an answer. But you do it very gracefully. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if uh, people who do work with you, maybe do business with you or they already know, like, you're not, you're very stubborn. Uh, Aries and Sagittarius energy, like, you're going to do what you want to do when you want to do it. Um, but in a good way, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not someone that can be controlled. You're not someone that somebody can dominate unless you allow them to. And that's what makes you lit. What makes you also lit is you're a manifester. Again, that's probably how you create all this abundance or you feel like you have all this abundance because you know if you need something else, if you need more, you can always create more. You can always manifest more so you don't really bother um, complaining about stuff and you don't really bother being sad about what you don't have because you know you can get more. Um, what makes you also what makes you lit is you keep yourself together. You take care of yourself. You take care of your health. You take care of your beauty. You take care if you're a man. You take care of your handsome. I guess that's what you would call it. You like the finer things in life. And you look expensive, even if you don't. Um, even some because some of you guys might shop shop at consignment stores or shop, you know, like a Goodwill or stuff like that. You might be the type of person that puts together little stylish outfits. But you make sure you're put together and you make sure you look stylish from your head to your toe. You always look stylish. You always look elegant in any room that you enter. That's what makes you lit. And you're very classy as well. Like, very classy. Very classy. Uh, as a guy, you're very uh, professional looking. Very good looking. Like, you know, you clean cut. Like, you don't allow yourself to get out of hand too much. And it's more so for you. Because, like, with this mermaid being by herself, it's like, it's more so you for you this is not for everyone it's like it's like you the type of person that would have money because for me this is like sitting on a diamond but by yourself it's like you're the type of person that have money and have all these nice things but you won't you'll get dressed up and drive your nice car to a dinner by yourself and won't even take insta pictures of it and you'll just be living in this or living in this luxury or have this money and be driving a honda and living in a uh, apartment that's like you know a, it's, it's cool but it's not like a luxury it's just a regular apartment you get what i'm saying and you'll and you'll be okay with that because it's like it's like the stuff that you do the luxury that you live is for yourself it's not for everyone <laughs> power number one got these cards too as well so 
You don't allow other people's opinions of yourself to affect the way you feel about yourself. You get what I'm saying? So people might say stuff to you or you might hear through the grapevine, oh, this person think they all that, this person think they this, thing, they that. But you don't let that shit, that, you don't let that shit fade you. Like, you know who you are, you know who you want, you know what you're about, and you don't take other people's uh, opinions in consideration when it comes to yourself and when it comes to how you appreciate yourself. You understand, you like being unique, you like being, you like um, being who you are, and if you're accepted, you're accepted, and if you're not, you're not. Like, you don't don't really care a lot of you guys also what makes you lit is the fact that you are willing to help others the fact that you do build this this abundance up so you can help others whether this be abundance in knowledge financial or um emotion so let's say emotion emotion um then i'm getting so drained and emotion let's say if you was thinking about emotions if we're talking about emotion wise you may figure out how to heal your heart and instead of you having all this healing energy and keeping it to yourself you'll be like okay my friend got heartbroken too let me go help her right if you got finances you'll you the type of person now okay i made you know i figured out new money to make money on the internet let me you know call a face uh let me call a meeting go out to eat with my friends and let me explain them like hey guys i just got put on to this money y'all should try this investment or let's do an investment together and see what we got going on or like if it's a mental you might find like a fact about something or do some research about something like let's say it's like holistic medicine and then you'll go back and tell your friends like you know what guys if we start drinking like elderberry maybe we'll do we'll uh, feel a lot better we'll have to worry about covid and such and such like whatever you learn to about yourself or learn or learn emotionally physical physically financially uh mentally whatever you share it with others because you know it's abundance and you know it can only you can only gain more by doing so healthy lifestyle so the first card out is healthy house lifestyle. So continue to eat healthy. Continue to work on yourself. Continue to diet and exercise. If you haven't done so, all right. Oh, and get some sleep. A lot of you guys ain't getting enough sleep. So make sure you get some sleep. So um, make sure you... um. <sighs> You guys probably didn't get enough sleep because I felt really drained when I was reading this, but I thought maybe I was just tired because I, I was, but I wasn't really tired when I started reading. So maybe you guys have been drained a lot lately and you need to make sure you're getting some more sleep. So that's a word of advice. And then you got angel therapy. Some of you guys have been wanting, some of you guys are givers and that's what, that's what, that's what makes you lit. But some of you guys over give, you know who you are, especially if you got Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, who else, Sagittarius and Aries. You are very overly much a given, whether it be your time, financially or emotionally. So you might want to go to therapy and try to figure out why you're so given, why you feel like you have to overly help others. There's nothing wrong with it. Cause again, it makes you lit at the same time. It could be OD. Sometimes you can give so much yourself that you don't have anything left over for yourself but um that is your reading pile number three that's what makes you lit i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video but that being said if you'd like to enter my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a comment and com leave a purple heart in the comment section below if you would like a personal reading all that information should be in the description below or if your time says that being said i will see you guys in the next reading bye